Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave, and we have a very, very special guest joining us now. Casey Hollins, the newest addition to uh, the sports department. She's our weekend sports anchor. She'll be reporting throughout the week. And Casey, welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Hello. I've been here for like uh, just over a week so far. I really like the city. So well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? Well, I'm and what's your Canadian, background? Canadian. So, yeah, Saskatoon. That's the ones in Anna. Yeah. <laughs> then Windsor. I uh, actually grew up out west, so I'm like a bit of a country girl. I'm missing Stampede right now. <gasps> to be here with you guys. How so dare you? How bad. dare we? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and then I worked in Charlotte before I came here. So that's Charlotte. pretty much it. Yeah. All right. So what's your favorite sport to cover? I mean, what's you know, give us the give us the dish. I what, think I know where can is. we get the expertise? Um, I'm a big I'm a big NFL girl because okay. my mom loves oh. NFL and that's she always had that on the TV on the weekends. It was Sunday all day was football. So, yeah. So, I'm not going to tell you my team is though. It's the Calgary Stampeders. It's that's the Argonauts, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Well, what do you know about the Lions? I mean, you, you didn't come in when, when we had any of the minicamp stuff, but from a distance, you, you had to have heard some things. What, yes. what, do you, what, are, the, what are the outsiders telling us? I know the, there's, uh, there's a couple camps when it comes to the Lions. There's, uh, you know, the people that sort of believe in the half, I wouldn't call it, it's not a full rebuild, half a rebuild kind of restructuring, whatever. Fuck. You know, optimistic. And then there's the other, the other camp that's like, what are you, what are you doing? and not really sort of behind the whole philosophy and where they're going. I reserve my judgment for how this season goes. I, I'm going to try and be optimistic, but we'll see. But there's this guy who thinks the Lions win a playoff game this year, and I'm out there, but it's going to happen. You'll see. I, mean, I like your optimism. I do. I, um, I tend to keep my expectations low to avoid disappointment. Well, you can catch Casey every Saturday and Sunday, 6, 10, and 11 o'clock on all of our fine newscasts there. She's anchoring tonight, too, Ooh, so make sure you tune us. in tonight. <laughs> Give her a look. Casey, welcome Thank to the you. team. I have something for you, too, to oh, add to the whoa. sports cave. What, what? A Blue Jays is that a Blue Jays that hat? That is pretty no, emotional. It's, it's, just oh. a, it's just a Canadian hat. All right. It's a Blue Jays hat. It's but you can find a place. You can hide it if well, you want. thank you. you. I'll wear it for the rest yeah. of the show. You're, in the hall of fame. You're almost in the Hall of Fame yourself right now. Yeah. <laughs> Gold jacket. All right, time to get to our final thoughts now. Leach, you're up, buddy. All right, well, I want to wish everyone a very happy and healthy 4th of July weekend. I hope everyone had a great time with family and friends. This 4th is one of those holidays where we realize how lucky we are to be Americans and how lucky we are to live in this country. Casey as well. Uh, there need, you need to take a minute to pause, though, and, and much in the vein of not forgetting how wonderful it is to live in the old U.S. of A., how lucky we are to be Tigers fans in this town. Yes, things have been rough at, town, at times so far this season. And yes, Miggy is out for a while, but this is a team that just ripped baseball's highest scoring team twice in a row. It's five outs away from a no-hitter on Friday night. and It's just one game out of the wild card going into play today. Dare we remember what it was like to be a Tigers fan back in the 90s or the early 2000s? This team was out of it in May and made September baseball just an activity to enjoy in between football games. Yes, there are many flaws in this team, most clearly the bullpen. Java is gone. Detroit will not be a seller at the deadline. and will hopefully make the moves that this team needs to once again truly contend when it matters and get to the postseason for the fifth year in a row. Look at last year. Both teams that made the World Series were wild card teams. While the Tigers want to and always have the goal of winning the division, just getting into the postseason party is all it takes to have a chance. So this weekend, honoring our country's independence, let's bring back some of you Tigers fans who think that they want their independence from this team. <laughs> I know there's still a lot of baseball to play. It's still a very good chance there'll be some fun and important times at Comerica Park come this fall. Very good, Leach. Don't let the people jump off the bandwagon. And speaking of bandwagons, I got to touch on this Harbaugh clunker when he went on ESPN radio with Colin Cowherd and had a bad interview in some cases. Some people believe that that's all on Harbaugh. Some people believe that's all on Colin Cowherd. It's a 50-50 split. And if there's one thing that I'm going to know about Jim Harbaugh is I had the chance to interview him for basically the first time since he kind of got settled when he went throughout the first pitch at Comerica Park. It's an exciting day. It's off the cuff. It's kind of fun stuff. He doesn't buy into that stuff, and it's going to be a real big challenge when we here on Channel 7 have him every Monday exclusively to ask better questions. The only way you're going to get to Jim Harbaugh to get a real answer is to ask good questions. Thanks so much to Dan Leach, Casey so much. Have a great Sunday. Goodbye.